Did you want to do it? Hey YouTube, Captain GX really and our guest ho guest person, person, Taruda. Yep. I am showing off my Steel Swarm deck because I feel Steel Swarms are underrated and actually decent, not bad. Okay. And I'll just go over the monsters real quick. One scoop! Because it's Treeborn Frog, not that big of a deal. You get it out fast once it hits Grave. Three cells because you never know when you're gonna, you know, whenever you don't Cyber have dragon. a scoop. You don't have a scoop and you need to Cyber Dragon something out. Did Three you, caller. You ran this deck in uh, tournament today? No, this was uh, yeah, that was uh, the last time. Oh, you were on your Karakuris this time. Yeah, Karakuris this time. Uh, callers, light beat stick. Uh, they have a pretty good effect that basically lets them special summon from uh, the deck, so you get a slim down from them. Three Stingbro. Not really that useful in terms of effect, more just because it says 1850 beat stick. Mm -hmm. Two Dark Refer, the only non-Steel Swarms in this deck. Uh, they're basically there just to speed things up and just say like, okay, dump Scout, then dump all the um, previously mentioned cards in kit once the setup is done. Two Mantis, I underestimated this card at first, but it's actually pretty good if you tribute off a Caller, because then you get a free Exceed. Also, you can special back any Steel Swarm, so even like tribute ones that you normally have to tribute uh, you can revive. Three Moth, because bouncing stuff is the best thing ever in this meta right now. If you can bounce things back to the extra deck... It's an overgrown Penguin Soldier. It's basically a Penguin Soldier, but it can attack. And well, Penguin Soldier can attack, but he won't do it much. 20, <laughs> and he has 24 attack. Triple Gyrus tag. He is your Caius. Because he's 26, you only need one tribute, despite being a 7 star. And he sends to Grave, which is... Which just says, screw you Stardust and Starlight Road and all that. One Steel Swarm Longhorn, which is mainly to boot a long horn. It is indeed a long no. horn. And basically, you sack a thousand to destroy a monster. But I'm, you mainly use this guy to get over Dark World stuff because Graffa basically craps on everything else. That's it for the monsters. Now for spells and traps. Three recurring nightmares just to keep your hand stocked, especially with cells when you don't have Scoot in sight. Triple MST, field control, staple, we all know this. Two Noble Man of Extermination. I think it might be good this, this format. This format, I don't know. Yeah, because of, uh, what's her name? The, the, the new spear that got unbanned. Oh, the spirit, Tsukiyomi? Uh, that thing's Tsukiyomi. a Book of Moons. Yeah, it Book of Moons it, then it... Book of Moons? Uh, this is a spell card. Oh, I'm thinking about the other one. This one, this one banishes trap cards, and it basically because I don't run many trap staples or traps that many people share, so it's really good. So like I could hit like I used a, to run that when I, I could was hit scrub. a warning, and I banish all warnings in their deck. One foolish gets good to grave, reborn pretty much saves game sometimes. Heavy, we all know what that does already. What does it do? <laughs> Explain. It explodes the field. Yay! One for one, mainly again, scoot or sell. Dark hole. What the dark hole? Brother darkness! Brother darkness! Two deck devastation virus, which I've found to be very good. Because many virus. monsters. Many monsters in the current hollow? meta uh, just are 2000 or less. So this card is actually really good in this format. Two infestation ripples, basically it called the haunted, except the uh, monsters aren't chained to it. And last but not least. Two infestation tools, which are basically like a small attack boost as long as I send one steal from the grave. That's it for main deck. Now for extra, Steel Swarm Roach. Great field control against Chaos Dragons, and even then, he's 19 attack, zero defense, so he can get over stuff, and zero defense means he can be recurring. Also, because he's a Steel Swarm, you can tribute him off for any of the tributes. My strokes, because he's Book of Moon, and because. My stroke is better than yours. Yeah, my strokes are better than yours. Pappy Operative, just because, it's why like not? It's like a $4 card. Three Utopes, because Evil Swarms aren't out yet. Three Gemini Pearl, because... You can. <laughs> No other cards I can really use. This is pretty much me just running out of stuff for my extra deck that I can't use at the moment. Marrowgeist. Marrowgeist, why not? The Sigma. I can't even go this guy that right often. I sold my Crystal Beast deck. Shockmasters, because Shockmasters are pretty balling and I never get them out. 
You never get them out? I never get them out. I try as in Tiris because I can go rank 5 and this actually won me a, a match in the tournament because of Mantis. And now for a side deck. Uh oh. One cock stag, you never know cock when you need stag. You never know when you need to nuke the field. Another scoot, just be, just in case uh you're facing a banish deck. Chaos Sork, because I do run light monsters in my side, so it's an option. Triple Doom Cal in case of effect monsters, in case of like have effect heavy decks for that extra field present. Triple Ryko because milling is actually beneficial to this deck. And also being able to pop a card is proper sweet. A charge for the Rikos as well. Two Lightning Vortex because if, in case of the uh, Ryko version, so that way I don't mill uh, a dark dark hole in case I need it. And Barrel from a different dimension again in case of uh, banished decks. Mm -hmm. So it's been, this has been a deck profile by our guest guest person Taruda. Yep. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya, dudes.